by request, kick ass facts, tardigrades. Pew, pew, pew. They're kind of adorable. I should have included them in the cute animal series. Tardigrades have been on Earth for almost 600 million years, about 400 million years before dinosaurs. They are among the few animals to have lived through all five extinction events. They have eight legs and each leg has four to eight claws, which resemble the claws of a bear, which is where they get the name water bear. They're also known as moss piglets because they are also found in moss. The hind pair of a tardigrade's eight legs are attached backwards and used for grasping objects. They're usually half a millimeter to a millimeter long. Imagine how tiny the objects they're grasping are if they're only a millimeter long. They were discovered in 1773 by a German zoologist who dubbed them little water bear. Three years later, an Italian biologist named the group Tartigrada or slow stepper. Murderer, I'm the lyrical get. That was hot stepper, Never mind. For their toddling gait. Scientists classify these micro animals as extremophiles because they can survive in extreme conditions. Some species can survive extreme heat and cold, pressures up to six times that on the ocean floor, and even being boiled in alcohol. Why do we know that? Why would you do that? Fewer than 10% of the conditions they can survive are deadly for humans. They eat bacteria, plants, and even other tardigrades and have sharp dagger-like teeth in their tubular mouth they can also use to spear other living organisms and algae to suck out the contents for nutrients. <laughs> Sharp dagger-like teeth. They, they're this big. There are about 1,300 known species of tardigrade and some of them lay spiky eggs. That sounds unpleasant. Tardigrade babies are born with a full range of adult cells. They grow not by cell division. Their cells simply expand in size. They enter an almost death-like state called cryptobiosis, expelling more than 95% of the water from their bodies, retracting their heads and legs and curling into a dehydrated ton. A ton can be carried on the wind like a seed or spore. If it lands in a habitable environment, it can asexually reproduce and start a new colony. Some have been reanimated from a ton after lying dormant for 30 years. Inside the cells of the dehydrated tardigrades, a type of protein called tardigrade-specific intrinsically disordered protein, TDP, replaces the water. This forms a glass-like substance that keeps the cell structures intact. Water bears could be the future of food. Yeast and bacteria can be protected from dehydration by encoding into them the tardigrade genes for producing TDPs. This method could be used to produce crops that can survive droughts or a medication that doesn't need refrigeration. In 2007, dehydrated tardigrades were taken into orbit and exposed to the vacuum and radiation of space for 10 days. On return to Earth, over two-thirds of them were successfully revived. Many died relatively soon after, but were able to reproduce beforehand. Most recently, they had been shot from a high-speed gun, traveling nearly 3,000 feet per second and surviving a crushing impact of 1.14 gigapascals of pressure. Just because you can do a thing doesn't mean you should do the thing. In October 2020, researchers were studying a species of tardigrade that can protect itself from a potentially lethal blast of UV radiation by forming a protective glowing shield. They absorb the harmful UV radiation and emit it as harmless blue light.